You're in the Customer Experience 404 Zone, where we talk about everything digital customer experience. Welcome. My name's Andrew Mayer of Service Please. You can find me also on Twitter at Service Please 20, where we talk about everything digital customer service. On this show, we bring those people out, companies, consultants, and others who have things to say about fixing those digital customer experiences. This is where we give them a chance to come out and share their secret recipes, share their hot sauce, and how they've been able to address those customer experience issues and challenges we have in the digital space. On this show today, we're going to talk to Shai Berger from Fanolo about how they've been able to build bridges for companies to bridge some of those gaps in the customer experience. So as you know, we want to, to talk about how customers are interacting with businesses today and how these have changed over the last years, maybe the last 10 years or so. More and more communications are moving into the, the digital space, into the internet, uh, into web chat, not only looking at web pages, FAQs and the rest there, but using things like social media uh, and other modern technologies. Of course, mobile is playing a huge role today uh, in how customers are reaching out to, to corporations and companies looking for information, looking for services. And, uh, and most of these companies are having great challenges today at, uh, at meeting those expectations their customers are, 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 re are expecting of them. And, and customers aren't quite as, as reliable as, they, as they perhaps they used to be to the brand and coming back just because it was the brand. So we wanted to have a chat this episode here and a special conversation with the company that, uh, that we ran across here recently. And uh, I spoke to a few people before and inviting this company in for an interview here, Fanolo. Fanolo is, a, is, a, is a, an interesting uh, solution that they've got on the market here. And we wanted to talk to them. Uh, and we got an opportunity to talk to Shai Berger here of Fanolo uh, and see what they're offering to clients out there in the market and how they've been able to solve one of those gaps uh, and make that customer experience that much better. And we really appreciate the chance in one of our first interviews here in a special video episode of Customer Experience 404. And uh, we welcome you here to, to the show, Shai. Thank you very much for taking part of this today. Terrific. Well, thanks for having me. And it's, an, it's especially an honor to be one of the first of what I hope is a terrific series. I think you're exactly right that this is a, a very interesting space right now, uh, an area with a lot of potential. Um, and um, uh, I think the coming year is going to be uh, a real watershed year for how customer service is delivered using uh, digital technologies. So uh, you're absolutely right. It's a really exciting space. Uh, you were also right in your introductory comments there. You were saying that companies are having a hard time delivering good service um, over the phone. And I think that part of the problem there is that there's this growing gap that we see between what consumers are, are expecting now as the norm for good service and what companies are delivering. And I think part of that is that the, the expectation on the consumer part has been rising and rising. Um, and, and conversely, the companies that, uh, uh, companies are, are in many ways hobbled by legacy call center equipment. And so that gap is growing. And consumers, especially the younger generation that live on their smartphone and work in, in uh, you know, so this instant gratification world of communication with anyone you want, anytime, through multiple channels, it seems like such a um, the throwback when you're dialing the 1-800 number and dealing with the phone menu and waiting on hold and then the agent answers and doesn't have your information and then you give the information and then you're transferred. It seems like something from another era you know, when you look at the kind of experiences we have uh, in the other aspects of our lives, you know, so that gap, that that disconnect, I think, is a huge market potential. That's the potential that really drove us to found Phonolo. That's really what we're targeting. 
So, so what part of the what part of the problem or the 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 the, the area that that Funnel was trying to address here? What part is it you are trying to to fix here or trying to address here in this current iteration that you've got out on the market? Uh, we're really trying to eliminate three big problems with the call center experience. There are the three problems that people complain about the most. Uh, the first is uh, phone menus, the whole system of press one for this, press two for that. The second is waiting on hold. And the third is repeating information to agents, which is uh, another thing that really bothers people. So we're trying to solve all these problems uh, and, um, and at the same time, uh, solve them in a way that works across all the major channels uh, that people use. So whether people start from the web or start on a smartphone or dial in the old-fashioned way. Um, so three problems, three channels, uh, and then on top of that, as an overriding goal, we want to do it in a way that, me that, that requires minimal change to the existing call center that companies have because we recognize that that's, uh, um, there's a lot of friction in that environment. So companies are really hesitant to do anything that requires a lot of change uh, in their call center. That leads me right into my next question there, Shai. And uh, it's about how, how we can do this with, with contact centers, with companies who already have a lot of infra infrastructure in place here. You know, they'll have their ACD systems, they'll have interactive voice response solutions, uh, call recording, uh, all those other things here. And, and a lot of them are going to be very hesitant at replacing any of this, this infrastructure uh, with, with something which, which might, you know, offer them a whole lot of benefit here. And uh, I wanted to know, how does Fonolo come in? What, what, where does Fonolo fit into this mix here? And does this mean any kind of rip and replace or is this, or is this uh, another type of solution? Yeah, we, we, uh, what we say to people is we're building on top of all those processes that you already have in place because there is an enormous uh, in investment that companies have made, not just in the technology, but in getting you know the integration and getting it all to work together and the business processes that people tie to the metrics that come out of that, uh, out of that equipment. So an enormous sunk cost, an enormous investment. Um, and so we built the technology in such a way that it doesn't uh, require a lot of change. The key to make that work is the simple callback. The idea that instead of dialing in, you are making a request and getting a callback from the company. And so what Phonolo does is sit in the middle and we manage that callback process. So to make it more concrete, one way people use Phonolo, they add a widget to their website. So the customer comes to the website, contact us page, they see this widget, that visual interface lets them pick the kind of agent they need to talk to, so it's an alternative to the IVR, uh, and then they uh, put in their phone number uh, and they get a call back when the agent is ready. So from their perspective, they click the button, they entered in whatever information was necessary, they said go, they got a call a little bit later, and the agent was ready to get right down to business. Now, what's happening behind the scenes is what's interesting. Phonolo is actually making the inbound call to the call center, and the call center sees our phone call like any other inbound call, and we then sit through the IVR, we automatically navigate it, we wait on hold on the customer's behalf. When the agent answers, we call back the customer, bridge the call, and the agent thinks it's a regular inbound call, the customer gets this great experience, and nothing had to change from the call center's perspective. So nothing really changes for, for the client here uh, when, when they take in Fanolo here, right? So you're, you're, just, you're just adding in a layer here. You just need perhaps some inbound lines that you might attach to or, or use some of their existing infrastructure or their, their lines of service that are coming in here. Uh, so we don't really need to, to, to take much out and do much different than what they're doing today. Is that right? Right, right. And people have set up Fonolo in a matter of days. Uh, you, you add the widget to your website with a few lines of code. It's like adding any widget to your website, uh, a Google map or a chat window. Um, and then uh, and Phonolo is able to automatically map out the existing menu structure of the, of the call center and then and, and, and we're able to navigate that automatically on the customer's behalf. So we're using the IVR that all companies have as kind of a, kind of a gateway, if you will, into the call center. 
Uh, and that's really the secret sauce. That's what makes this so easy to deploy. And then the same is the case for mobile apps. So lots and lots of companies have mobile apps. It's a huge trend in customer service. Uh, and so you can add a Phonolo component to the mobile app, uh, and it does the same process. It's a visual representation of the IVR. They tap the choice they need. There might be pre-call questions that they can answer. They hit go, and then sometime later, there's a callback, and the agent's ready on the other end of the line. Uh, so that's um, it. Works. It works in both uh, um, in both cases. So this is a solution that doesn't sit on on premise with other other infrastructure of the client here, right? And and how does pricing work? Yeah, it's a cloud. It's a cloud-based service that makes it easy to deploy and also makes pricing very low. Um, so we're able to serve uh, companies. You know, we have some companies with just five agents. Uh, that pay us $100 a month and have the basic service and they're thrilled with it. And, you know, a lot of these ideas have been around for a long time. Avaya, for example, they've got a module called Callback Assist that you could install part of your Avaya installation. Uh, Cisco has something called Courtesy Callback. Um, and these have been around for a while. I mean, the idea of click to call and getting a call back and virtual queuing, that's all been around for a while too. But it's been... Uh, totally out of reach for smaller companies. Uh, these are all solutions that start at the $100,000 mark and take months and months of implementation. So if you were a small company, it was totally out of your reach. And one of the ideas we have at Funnel is to make that kind of advanced functionality the norm and available to companies of, of all sizes. Great. That's, that's great to hear. I'd like to come back to something you said at the outset, Shai. Uh, you said sir, this next year, or this year, 2013, is going to be a watershed year for Fanolo and maybe customer experience in general. Yeah. And I'd like to hear a little bit more about what you, what you think by that, what, where you see some of these things going for Fanolo and the rest. We know that customers are using communication uh, technology a little different uh, than they were years past. Uh, phones are not used just to make phone calls anymore, yes. particularly smartphones and mobile devices. Uh, other other media channels, whether it's uh, emails or web chat or social media, uh, are really challenging. Where do you see 2013 uh, heading, and uh, what kind of what kind of things do you see coming up along the way? I think there are a few big trends, a few macro trends that are really playing in the, in, in to, uh, into this space, uh, and one of them is the smartphone revolution. Uh, we've really hit a tipping point with smartphones. Uh, just this past, a few months ago, I think we crossed the 50% mark in the U.S. for uh, smartphone penetration. And among younger people, you know, it's it's much, much higher. Uh, Europe also has, you know, tremendous penetration with smartphones. It's just, uh, uh, we're, we're rapidly approaching the point where all phones are going to be smartphones. And so, you know, people have this rising expectation of what that experience should be like. Um, and it's making it, you know, when you have that much, uh, uh, when, the, when a platform is that ubiquitous, it really gets harder and harder to ignore the kind of advantages you could have to your company by, you know, using this platform. Um, you know, in the, uh, if I came to you and I said, well, 10% of people have these smartphones, you should really take advantage of it, that wouldn't be such a great pitch. But now that you see more and more of your inbound calls coming from smartphones, uh, it just makes sense to take advantage of the incredible power that these devices have uh, uh, to make calls more efficient. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, I always cringe when I go to a mobile app uh, and it's got all kinds of functionality, uh, transfer money, find a local branch, make a purchase, redeem a coupon. Uh, all these great things, and then there's a contact us tab, you know, and you go to the tab, and what do they have there? They've just got the regular phone number, and then you tap the phone number, and you might as well be using a phone from 50 years ago. You're throwing away all the incredible functionality that the smartphone could, could, could give you when you do that. So really my vision is that uh, there should be no smartphone apps doing that anymore <laughs> within a few years. If you have a smartphone app, it should be a lot smarter about connecting the consumer to the call center than just displaying the plain old 1-800 number. So since we're recording this at that time of the year here uh, where everyone gets a wish, uh, and I'd like to ask you, what would, what would be your one wish uh, that you would like to see happen in the next year uh, that's, that corporations or companies might, might finally take 
take notice of or actions they might take uh, over the next year that's, that could really help change this whole customer experience, perhaps particularly in the, in the digital space? Uh, I think we need, uh, uh, what we really need is a change in attitude uh, among the larger companies to, to lead the way. You know, the bigger banks, the bigger airlines, the bigger retailers need to see how much advantage there is to investing in this part of their operation. Uh, for too many years, the call center has been sort of pushed to the side and just seen as a cost to be minimized. Um, you know, we had for a while this horrible trend of just looking for the lowest cost agent on the planet and people would send call centers overseas to wherever they could find the cheapest hourly rate. I think people have gotten smarter about that and, and there's a lot of movement back uh, back onshore or, or back to higher quality agents because they realize that's a false savings. Um, now we need to see that same trend continue and, and, and have people invest in the technology around that to make uh, it's really to make the agents uh, as effective as possible and to make every phone call something that really um, uh, lifts the brand, something that really um, improves how the consumer thinks about that company rather than the typical case which is detracts from, from the brand. I really appreciate the chance to talk to you today, Shai, and uh, hear what Fanolo is doing and, and having you participate in this Customer Experience 404 video podcast, uh, our special edition here. Um, is there anything else you'd like to, to, to mention or bring up that uh, Fanolo is working on or that's upcoming and uh, coming out pretty soon that you'd like to share with, uh, with our viewers here today? We have, um, I guess one thing that's really exciting for us is a mobile app coming out um, with a U.S. financial company, um, that will be a bit of a watershed moment for us. Um, it's going to be the first app on an iPhone um, for a financial company, and and the finance angle adds a bit of complexity because there's a little more privacy and compliance issues there. Um, and uh, and this this company is already using us on on the web, so it's going to be a great example of um, uh, a financial organization. Um, in the U.S. using uh, this, this sort of new cloud approach on multiple channels to improve the call center experience and they didn't touch their call center one bit. So uh, I'm really look, looking forward to launching that. We've got to get it through that whole app store approval process. Um, but we're going to be really proud of it when, when that launches and hopefully we, uh, you and I can circle back and talk about what that means. Great. Love to have a chance to, to hook up with you another time later and hear how things are going on at Fanolo and how Fanolo was able to bring solutions to bridge this uh, digital divide when it comes to delivering those customer services, as it is our, our focus here on Customer Experience 404. Uh, we appreciate you being a, our, our initial guest here today. Uh, you're doing great things. We'll splash up some of the names here of the, the sites and places people can find more information about Fanolo on uh, social media, uh, the websites, and, and you've got white papers and case studies and the rest for those to download. Uh, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, it was my pleasure, Andrew. Take care. Thank you for listening to the Customer Experience 404 here today, our special video podcast. Uh, you can find more about us on our webpage at servicepleased.de, not .com. That's servicepleased.de. Of course, you can tweet me at servicepleased20 anytime with your questions, your comments to the show here, suggestions you might have for other people you'd like to see coming on here. Uh, we're always looking for ideas. Or you can send me an email at andrew at servicepleased.de. Uh, I'd be more than happy to come back and, and, and uh, chat with you and hear about what you're doing. Uh, people you know, if you see solutions or you see particular problems, you think you have an idea of how to solve, we'd love to highlight it on the show here. Uh, this is what we're here to do. Thank you for participating today and listening to uh, the Customer Experience 404 show highlighted with Fonolo. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.